Hello guys. In this video, we will try to understand what dead reckoning is in robotics. Dead reckoning is the process of estimating the position of a robot based on its previous position, velocity, time elapsed, and the heading direction. And this process uses no external reference point and also it does not interact with any other device which is outside the robot itself. So there is no communication going on with the outside world. Well, let's simplify this even more and understand it in very basic terms. Dead reckoning was a famous process used in marine navigation where they would find the position of the ship at any point in time, given its initial position, the heading direction, the velocity. But this process in ancient times did not involve looking at celestial bodies and their positions visually. Well, that was a standard GPS process when GPS technology was not present, right? So based on whatever information the sailors had on the system and looking at no external references, they would try to find the position of the ship at any point in time. And that is what exactly we still do in Dead Reckoning. So translating this to the present world of advanced robots, what we exactly do is we take the robot, we know the initial position and based on onboard sensors, which do not interact with any other devices outside the robot, we try to find the position of the robot at any point in time. For instance, let's say we have odometry and IMU on our robot. Let's say we know that the robot starts at some X, Y and Z position. Based on the odometry values we get from the encoders on board, we basically say that we know the heading, we know the velocity and we know the position of the robot at any point in time. Here, we did not look at any external references like GPS, right? Similarly, let's say we have an IMU device on board. An IMU device will give us angular rotation and linear acceleration. Based on this information, we can still find out the position of the robot at any point in time, given the initial point. So process one, use the initial position and odometry values. And the second process use the initial position and IMU values. Both these processes are examples of dead reckoning. Now let's say our robot has both odometry values and IMU values because they have both these sensors on board. We can fuse these two values and get a better estimate of the position in time. Now we have the initial position as before, but now the fused value of odometry and IMU will give a better estimate to understand how the robot is moving. So we looked at three examples of dead reckoning. One, using the initial position and only the odometry values, two, initial positions and IMU values, and three, initial position plus the fused values from IMU and odometry. All these three were examples of dead reckoning. If we were to combine this information with an external reference somehow, then what we would do is not dead reckoning. We would also refer to some other sensor, which is not just about the robot, but references something else outside. It. And this is actually very common in a robotic system. We use something like odometry plus IMU to get dead reckoning values, and then combine this information with an external sensor like GPS to have a better estimate of where the robot is, which also is called robot localization. But let's not talk about robot localization for now because we are only focusing on dead reckoning. So why aren't we satisfied with only using dead reckoning as the process to find the position of the robot? We also need something like an external reference point, for instance, GPS, and combine that information to find a better estimate of the robot's position. Why exactly is that? That is because if we only use dead reckoning, the output of that is prone to drift. Dead reckoning values always have some errors. And as we move forward in time, these errors accumulate and cause a drift in the result. Thus, we will start deviating from the actual physical position of the robot more and more. In that case, we also combine information coming from some sensor like GPS, which uses external information. That basically leads us to correction in this drift, and then we have a better estimate of the robot. But the next question, why is dead reckoning still important and so useful everywhere? Let's say we have this combination of IMU plus odometry for dead reckoning, plus a GPS sensor to correct this drift value and find a better estimate of the robot. There would be instances where GPS values cannot come to us because the robot is, let's say, in a remote location. In that case, we still need dead reckoning values to at least estimate the position of the robot in an okayish way. So that's why dead reckoning is considered still important for robot localization. I hope this video makes the idea of dead reckoning a lot more clear, and we will talk about robot localization in the upcoming videos anyway.